unfortunately having to make an update a little sooner than I wanted to. Ah, the Pico light, the Nikru, the thing I talked good things about last time has taken a dump on us, unfortunately. You can see the fog on the inside of the lens. The silicone is separated somehow. I might have accidentally pressed too hard, rather. Ah, that just sucks. I mean, the timer's working. Let's see if I can really show this. Barely. See, there, it says it's on. Go to setting. By the way, when you unplug these, it resets your, your schedule you've made. So you have to write that down, but yeah. No, totally busted, total junk, trash. The beta light came. This is the freshwater version of the one I just threw. I really didn't want to do an update this soon, but I have to. I have to re-glue a couple corals. We lost the red dragon, Acropora. The, the mini reef. Great colors, I gotta say. The Pico light was doing great. That light's awesome when it works. This is for the freshwater light that just came, this box, but I'm pretty sure the saltwater one came in one just like this. And unfortunately, not a good start. A failing light is the opposite of stability. And it kind of deeply upsets me that I had to improvise this. Yeah, not great guys doing what I can to keep this experiment going. Just figured I'd tell you what happened as it happened. That blows. This little light right here used to be on Marcus's aquarium. Instead, I put it on the back with some Velcro and made a little mini refugium back there. Does it work? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but it's a cool concept nonetheless. This hammer coral is kind of a, a rescue. I tried to frag my main colony. Absolutely failed. The whole thing exploded. It was awful. But there's what I one piece of what I've saved and polyps are coming out, so maybe it's not all is lost. Arguably the Radeon's probably better. However, I think to really set this experiment in stone and keep it low cost, we're gonna go ahead and get another one. Another night crew light. It's kind of a bummer that that happened, but I figured I'd let you know right as it did. Good update. The Acro's starting to encrust. This is ultra short cake. That Millie is just barely starting to heal up. And the rest are taking their time, but they're getting there. Uh, the Leptoceras as well. You can see how it's kind of grown over the glue just barely. That's a good sign. The pod life in here. Now, having no fish, obviously nothing's getting pecked off. You see how those specks on the glass. Those are all copepods. And it looks like grains of rice or sand everywhere. That they'll move. I don't know, it's kind of, I've never seen that before. But then again, when do you run a reef tank without fish? Not very often. So that's cool. I think the pods are running this tank along with this Astria Turbo. You can barely see. He loves this side of the tank because that's where the algae is. But in better news, this 90 gallon is doing amazing. So I'll probably just turn my attention more towards this. And I've organized some cords. I think that looks really great. 
compared to the rat's nest it was like over here which will get the same treatment here today so overall good stuff